so we have today yet another iskon incense with us and today we are doing one of everybody's favorite namaste everyone and welcome to om incense show with dj a show that helps you increase your incense quotient so if you are an incense enthusiast consider subscribing so nag champa so they have done this in blue and the uh, it's a very nice kind of a, it's a very different it's a light blue but very nice different kind of a blue and uh, so it says nag champa incense sticks and this also has 150 incense sticks 250 grams and for 200 rupees and the burn time says 50 minutes so um, so like i said last time you know you might get it online but it's very difficult to find this online if you get it offline it's usually uh, they saying 200 but they get for around 170 180 something like that so uh, it says ingredients are selected aromatic herbs resins honey jaggery natural essential oils etc so this is what we have the incense that we get inside is this incense which i think is not a 9 inch incense this is shorter than the normal incense like you see this other one is the the rose incense and uh, you see miss the difference so this this is the nag champa one and this is the rose one uh this is a little short i guess must be around 8 inches and this is a a yellow bamboo core so this is what we have and it's a nice uh, rounded smooth bamboo core that we have it's a brown incense stick which is thicker compared to the normal one so this is like thicker than this was just a little bit and but it is a normal machine made dipped incense with a lot of masala on top and it has a nice rich resinous fragrance resinous with a hint of herbal note something like that and a very 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 slight note of sweetness to it also is there So that's the kind of uh, note that you get in the the that's the kind of in fragrance that you get in the top note. So that's it. When we light up the incense, the the fragrance that we get is, you know, invariably whenever I'm trying a nag champa incense, I mentally compare them to the Golok nag champa. It's like you know. how you compare everybody else to your first love is <laughs> something like that <laughs> so it's like this this nag champa incense it's nice if you like if you like resinous fragrance with a hint of herbal note to it uh, but that sweetness that was there in the top note is not there how it has a very nice soothing calming kind of fragrance something that is going to lull you and make you feel very relaxed and calm so this is i guess an ideal thing for meditation or for uh, some kind of jap or sadhana that you're doing this one is very nice this is like one of those incense which is like quietly lit up in a corner just emanating its fragrance and you know you you just about uh, around it and you're just enjoying that fragrance it's like that kind of fragrance it is uh if you like that resinous fragrance you would like it however if we talk of the intensity it's neither very loud it's not very you know mild it's mid level so it's not going to smother anyone even if you do not like incense this is like just a normal incense lit up somewhere so if this is like lit up somewhere you would be able to say that it's a nice uh, it's a nice rich resinous fragrance lit up somewhere that's the kind of fragrance this is however it is not going to hit anybody not going to it's not going to irritate or bother or smother anyone it's a very nice quiet kind of incense if you would say and it will help you feel very relaxed and calm so that's the note it has nice rich resinous herbal in some of the wafts you will also get that slight sweetness that i said so that's the kind of note that it, this has and the diffusion is to a large area 
even though it is like nice and mild when it diffuses to a large area but it does diffuse to a large area like it diffuses to my entire house so i think if you light it up out somewhere you might have neighbors coming and asking what's being lit up then if you talk of the retention of it it's like around three to four hours of retention so that's the kind of retention this has if you like some incense which is like nice it gives you a nice temple like vibe it give, makes you feel calm and relaxed resinous fragrance um mid note then you would definitely like this i really like this incense but uh, somehow the golok nag champa still is the best for me so i'd like to give it a star rating of three so that's nag champa from iskon for uh, three stars for it now the quiz that we had last time was what is swaha that month that we chant at the end of every oblation before we give it to the fire the havan fire but what is swaha so swaha is the name of the she is actually a goddess and she is the wife of uh, agni dev so the the hindu god of fire so she is swaha and she's any any time we give an offering to the havan we say swaha because it is supposed to reach agni dev through her so that's the way, that's the reason we saying swaha but there are times when in hindi we mean that something is over and we say you know it has been burnt up and it people say swaha you know swaha ho gaya but that actually is a negative connotation because swaha is something which is like really really associated with havan and it has a very positive connotation it only means that when you're saying swaha and giving something to the fire it is straight away going to the gods so that was about swaha now the question that we have this time is name an incense ingredient which is known as which is known in vedas as the flesh of the gods that's the quiz for today so i hope you enjoyed this episode and you learned something from it if you think somebody else can learn something from it to share it with them if you will use this incense let me know what has been your experience with this what which is your favorite nagchampa incense just let me know that until we meet again next take very good care of yourself Namaste